I'm going to show you how to make sugar plaques which are quite useful if you want to write a message on a cake and you don't want to risk writing directly onto the cake. Uh, you can also use them to dry, let them dry and write on them with sugar pens and that sort of thing. So I'll show you how to do that afterwards as well. So we're going to knead the paste. This is just ordinary sugar paste. We get some gum tragacanth and about a teaspoon in this amount. This is about 250 grams. Just a little teaspoon in there. The gum tragacanth will make the paste go hard. So we just mix that in. So obviously it's quite powdery, so you have to be careful how you mix it in, so it just puffs up into the air. But it does go into the paste. So you mix it in. You can see that, that it's all going all bitty. But it does come back together again. There. Get that mixed in properly. And then we're just going to put some icing sugar onto the table and we're going to roll that out. Keep moving it round. Okay, you don't want it too thick, but if you have it too thin, you're going to have trouble picking them up and moving them around. So that's about right. about five mil thick and then we're going to get the plaque cutters which you can get all different size and shape plaque cutters these ones are quite nice because they're scalloped on one side and plain on the other so you can cut one of those out and then we'll cut a plain one out as well so you can see how different they are like that and then we'll do the same with these ones There's a nice scalloped one. There. And then all you can do is just leave those to dry, which if you leave them overnight, they'll be nice and dry the next day. And then you can just decorate them up or write on them. This is a sugar plaque that we've left to dry. So now it's nice and firm. You see that it's quite hard. And what we're going to do now is just write on it. So we've got these pens, which you can get in all different colours, and you can write onto the sugar. So you can put a message on there. So let's just pick a pen. We'll go for blue, that stand out nicely. And you just want to write on it. So just write whatever you want. So happy birthday. And then, of course, you could put the person's name on it. But I'll just show you how easy you can actually write on it. So it's literally just like writing with an ordinary pen. Okay, and it does have a thinner end here, so if you wanted to add some detail, you could draw a little picture or add some detail with it. I'll just have a go with this one, perhaps paint some little flowers on or something. So you could just paint a little design on, whatever you fancy. Then you could colour it in if you like. Some little flowers. Or well, you could just stick some little blossoms on. If you cut some blossoms out, you could stick some blossoms on there. We can um, add a little bit of detail. This has got a little gold coloured pen. It's a just gold colour. It's not metallic, but it is quite a cool colour. It does actually look quite nice. So you could paint some little flowers on. And there's also these. These are click and twist brushes. So you pull the top off 
and this is a gold one, light gold, and you twist the top and you see the paint comes out the end and you can use this, you could perhaps go around the outside of your plaque like that to pretty it up a bit. It does run out and you have to twist it again but sometimes it looks quite nice if you have it thick on some and thin on others. You can go all the way around the outside like that with it. Just thin that out a little bit. I quite like it a bit thinner. You could write with these, but it, you can see that it's not actually as fine as a pen. But provided you weren't going to write too much, if you just wanted to write a name or just happy birthday, you would be able to write with it as well. There. And that gives you... A nice, simple, happy birthday plaque.